a new add-in has been created that allows the quick import and alignment of vices into your FeatureCam project. This add-in allows you to position your part in a variety of conventional vices as well as three and four jaw chucks, automatically setting them to be used as clamps. The quick import and alignment of the vices increases productivity, not only due to the speed of programming, but also in terms of collision checking. In this example we've got uh, a simple round component and we've got, if we go to the part view, you can see we've got two setups. So we've got a top setup uh, and a bottom setup. Uh, in each case we've got different features, so we've got a face operation, a side operation and a surface milling operation. If I was to play through these just as a 3D simulation, we can see we get the uh, initial top setup uh, and then if I go and switch the setup, so I'm going to change to the second setup Calculate that toolpath, play that simulation, and we get some roughing, and then some simple finishing with a steep and shallow toolpath. So that's my component. So what I want to do is I want to uh, I want to go and put that on the machine. But before I do that, I just want to check and verify that the fixtures I'm going to use uh, will be uh, collision free. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to setup number one and just change to the isometric view. And what we're going to do is we're going to import a vise to hold this component. So at the moment we've got this square block of stock, so we're going to use a simple vise. And to do this, uh, first of all I'm going to load the add-in. So I'm going to go to my options, add-ins, into the library. And if you scroll down you should see there are two add-ins to load. So we've got an import vise, so we're going to load uh, that one in. And the other one I'm also going to import is something called Setup Activate. So this one allows me to uh, basically display the, the vices when I jump between the different setups. So I'm going to say OK to that and you'll see you get a new toolbar uh, with a button on it. So I'm going to select Import Vice. And in this case you can see uh, I get a display of the, uh, the particular vice that I'm choosing. Uh, and I've got a pull down list of a number of different vices. So I've got a series of uh, different Girardi vices, uh, I've got a Hilmer vice, a Kurt vice, I've got some auto centering, so things like the Jurgens uh, and Lang vices. Uh, and then I've also got a series of uh, chucks as well, so three jaw and four jaw chucks of different sizes. So in this case I'm going to use the, the top one, so I'm going to select the Girardi vice. So for example I can position the vice either to the left or to the right or I can position it and actually offset uh, the x-axis as well if I wish to do so. Uh, in this case I'm going to go for a center position. Uh, and we can also choose how much we're holding the part by, so I can hold uh, by a certain amount. Uh, or I've got the, uh, the jaw position, and in this case I can choose based on selected surfaces, uh, bounding boxes and so on. In this case we're going to use the stock uh, dimensions. Uh, and then the final section is just uh, allowing us to add parallels so we can uh, support underneath the part component and I can choose from a pull down list of a series of, uh, of parallels. In this case I'm going to go ahead and select uh, the 125 by 1500 and say import. So in this case it is a read only file so it's asking me to save, I'm not going to save, I'm just going to let it import the vice. So you can see imports adjust those positions, then it goes through the parallel import and then shifts the stock location like so. So I've now imported the vise and we can see that the position and location of the part is mounted nicely uh, based on our vise import. If I was to play my 3D simulation, the other thing to note is the vise is automatically loaded as a uh, as uh, a clamp inside our simulation. So next we're going to tackle the uh, the other setup. So with that uh, second uh, add-in that we've got running, if I click on that second setup you'll note that the uh, uh, the vice disappears from that setup orientation. Uh, in order to make this work we need to have the the word part underscore and then uh, whatever the the name of your component might be um, and that will allow it to distinguish uh, between the different setups and hide the vice accordingly. So from the second setup we're going to load an, another vice. In this case I'm going to use uh, a three jaw chuck. So I'm going to go down to my pull down list and choose a three jaw chuck. 
and in this case we're going to uh, position the part in Z that's fine um, we're going to use uh, a selected surface so I'm going to select a surface there let's go back to our item and say we use selected solid faces that's what we're going to grip around because that's the bit we've just machined I can also choose the jaw type so in this case I can choose a uh, different types of hard jaws uh, or a soft jaw so I'm going to select a soft jaw in this case uh, and then we also want to position this so I'm just going to go ahead and enter a position of 40 millimeters uh, which is uh, going to be our part length position so again say import Again, it's read only, so just let it go through that. And you see, I get my jaws positioned like so. Uh, if we go back to the setup one, you can see we flip between those setups depending on uh, the, the different clamps that we have. So you can see, I get my different clamps for each view. So again, just going to choose an isometric view, play my 3D simulation. So cut the top setup, select the second setup, and again switch into my isometric view, playing that simulation. I'm finishing our part like so.